Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today is the how to use the AirPods third generation tutorial where we're gonna go over the tips, tricks, and settings of Apple's new AirPods 3. Let's get started. All right, so these are the third generation AirPods by Apple and we're gonna go through everything you can do with them from the setup to tips and tricks, settings, and all of the controls. Now, if you do wanna skip ahead to any one of those sections, there's chapters in the description with timestamps so you can skip ahead to exactly what you wanna learn. But for the rest of us, let's start with the connection. For the connection process, we're gonna be using our iPhone here, but I'll show you how to connect the AirPods 3 to other devices later on in the video. So to start, you wanna make sure that your iPhone is connected to Bluetooth. So we'll pull down our control center and you'll see the Bluetooth icon. Just give it a tap, make sure that it is blue. That means that Bluetooth is enabled. Next thing you wanna do is just simply bring your AirPods 3 close to your iPhone and then just pop the lid open. Within a few seconds, you'll be able to see a screen and it should appear like this. If you haven't updated your iPhone, it may prompt you to update to take advantage of all the new features. So you might wanna do that first, but at this point, if you are seeing this screen, you then just wanna tap connect. Give it a second to connect. You'll see the light turns on on the actual AirPods. You'll get a quick description of media control and how it works, but we're gonna go through all the controls in this video, also setting up the Hey Siri command here. We're gonna use Siri, but I'm gonna show you how to set that up a little bit later, so we'll do not now. You can choose to have announce calls and notifications turned on. I recommend to have that turned on. You can customize it right here, but again, I'll show you where you go to have this set up. If you tap on customize, it'll kind of go through what you can and can't do here. But uh, like I said, we'll go through a little bit of that a little bit later as well. So now your AirPods are connected. You can see some percentages beside the actual AirPods and the AirPods case. For whatever reason, they decided to name my AirPods AirPods number two, but we can change the name a little bit later. So now that our third generation AirPods are connected, the way they work is pretty simple. You're just going to place them into your ears like so. You're going to hear a chime and that chime is something called in-ear detection. And what that means is anytime they're in your ears, all audio is now going to pass through the AirPods. They're connected and that nothing is going to pass through the iPhone. If you pull them out, the audio again is now going to pass through the iPhone itself. So while they're in, you'll hear the chime. If you press play on what you're listening to, it's all coming through. You can see on screen here, maybe you can see that it's actually playing my audio. If I pull them out, it pauses it automatically. And that's why this in-ear detection is so cool because you can pause and play just by removing, putting them back in. And it's such a time saver, especially when you're at the gym. Now you can turn off the in-ear detection setting. I'll show you how to do that in the settings section of this video. But now let's talk about the AirPods 3 controls. And if you've ever used or seen the AirPods Pro, these ones work very similar. Where pinching the force sensor on the stem of the AirPods performs the actions. So while the audio is playing in my ear, I can press on this force sensor once and it's going to pause all that audio. I can then press it again and it'll play the audio. To skip ahead, it's a double press and to skip back is a triple press. If you have the AirPods in your ear and a call comes through on your phone, it's as simple as just pressing on the stem once to hang up the call, you're gonna press on it again. Either one will do pretty much the same thing. If ever you wanna activate Siri, which is where a lot of functionality comes into play with these headphones, is basically just to press and hold. You'll hear the Siri icon and you can ask any questions you want. You can say things like raise the volume 50%, lower the volume, set a timer, remind me, all the same things you could do with Siri on your iPhone, you can do them now with the AirPods. And if you do have the command, hey, you know what, Siri, you can then ask Siri questions that way as well. To control the volume, you're limited to either using Siri, the volume slider on the app that you're listening through, or the volume buttons on the device, that the third generation AirPods are connected to. Lastly, inside the box, you do get an instruction manual here and it does quickly show you how you can actually use the presses to perform different actions. So if you ever forget, refer back to that manual. Now, as you use your third generation AirPods, you should expect to get about six hours of playback before they need a charge. And the great thing is that you can actually charge the AirPods by simply placing them back in the AirPods charging case. The case itself holds about 30 hours of charge, so you should get quite a bit of time out of them before you need to charge the case itself. Whenever you want or need to charge the case, you do have three options and you can do this with or without the AirPods in the case. The first option is to use wireless charging by placing them on any QI wireless charging pad. You'll see an orange light indicating that the AirPods are charging. 
You can also use a MagSafe wireless charger as the third generation AirPods do support MagSafe charging or simply plug them up using the standard lightning cable. Whenever you see a green light indicator on the AirPods, that means that they are fully charged. Now let's go over some of the settings that you can configure with your third generation AirPods. So first things first, to ensure that this works correctly, make sure that your AirPods are connected and inside your ear if you have in-ear detection enabled. So we're gonna just quickly do that. And you'll see that the connected icon appeared at the top because I placed them in my ear. We're gonna then open our settings application on our iPhone and we're gonna tap on the Bluetooth icon. Now you can see Daniel's AirPods number two is connected. So if we tap on that eye, we have a whole bunch of settings that we can configure. The first one here is the name of our AirPods. If we tap on this, we can change the names to whatever we want. I'm gonna call them AirPods 3 because that's what they are. And I like to put a D beside them just so I know they're mine in my Find My app, which I'll talk about a little bit later as well. The next option is automatic ear detection. And I talked about this earlier with the controls. So basically anytime they're in your ear, you hear that chime to enable the connection with the iPhone. If you'd prefer that they're always connected like a standard set of in-ear wireless headphones, you can just turn that off. Now, anytime, even if you pull them out of your ear, anytime they're out of the case, they should be connected to your iPhone. So I like it like this, just personal preference, but if you do like the automatic in-ear detection, leave that on. The next option is connect this phone and it has set to automatically by default. So basically you wanna choose how your AirPods connect to the phone. AirPods can always connect automatically to this iPhone or only connect to this iPhone if it was the last device you use them with. This is mainly if you use your AirPods with multiple devices, you can set this up so that it connects to the different devices or the last device you have it connected to. I just leave it on automatically and I've never had issues with that and I do connect them to a whole bunch of different devices devices. The next option here is spatial audio, and this is a really cool feature. It's basically going to give you an immersive three-dimensional sound that follows the movement of your iPhone. Keep in mind, this is only for supported audio and videos, and you can turn this spatial audio on and off in the control center as well, which I'll show you a little bit later. But for here, if we tap on spatial audio really quick, you'll be able to get a quick rundown of what it's all about. Right now it's on stereo audio. If you tap on spatial, you'll see how it's going to look. So basically it's giving you a surround sound experience rather than just a simple left and right ear kind of experience. But I'll show you how to turn it on in the control center a little bit later. The next one is microphone. So if we tap on that, you can choose which microphone is going to be active. The AirPods are not universally fitting for your ear. So they do have a right and left AirPod. So if you do want the microphone to only go through one of the AirPods, you can select always left or always right. If you choose automatically, it's automatically going to switch between the left and the right, depending on the situation to get the best audio quality it can. I leave it on automatic as it's always worked for me. The next one is optimized battery charging, and this is to reduce the battery aging. So I strongly suggest you turn this on. It's also a feature with your iPhone, but if you read the quick description here, the iPhone and AirPods learn from your daily charging routine so that AirPods can wait to finish charging past 80% until you need to use them. So for example, if you always charge your AirPods at night, it's going to remember that maybe you wake up every day at seven o'clock and it's going to slow down the charging to about 80% until it gets close enough to the time where you're going to wake up where it'll complete the charge so that they're almost at 100% when you do wake up. This is a cool feature and like I said, it'll help that battery from aging. The next one is Find My Network. This allows you to locate your AirPods on a map whenever they're lost in the Find My application. This is a must in my opinion as these are so easy to lose. If you wanna see an example here, these are my AirPods Pro. I only have one, I don't even have an ear tip on it. And these are my AirPods 2 and I only have one. So if you don't wanna lose these, they're quite expensive. Ensure this feature is turned on and I'll show you how it'll work a little bit later. Now let's talk about the spatial audio feature once again and how you can turn it on. 
So first off, you need to have some type of audio or video playing that's pushing the audio through the AirPods. And when you pull down your control center, you'll be able to see what's playing right here. So if we just quickly open this up, you can see that somebody's watching me, that's the song. If we press play on it, it'll begin playing. We then wanna tap and hold on our audio or volume option right here, and it'll bring up the spatialize option we have. So right now it's off, but if we tap on it, you can see that this particular song gives us spatialized stereo audio. But if we did have a movie playing, for example, let's just jump into Netflix here, and we'll just tap on this one right here really quick. Now, if we quickly pull down our control center, you can see it's playing up there, and if we tap and hold, we have the spatial audio, which is giving us the full spatial audio effect. So that's how you basically turn it on and off. You would just tap here to turn it off, tap to turn it on. Test it out for yourself because it's a really good experience, especially when you get the full spatial audio. So now let's go over some tips and tricks that you can use with your third generation AirPods. First off, let's open our settings once again here, and we're gonna open our control center. We're going to add a feature here called live listening, and the way you do that is pretty simple. You wanna ensure that this hearing icon is enabled. Now, if you haven't had it enabled before, it's going to appear in this section down here. So you're going to just scroll down until you find that little hearing icon, tap the plus, and it'll appear at the top here. Now when you pull down your control center, you do have this little ear. If we tap on this, we can actually set up live listen. And what this does is basically allow you to place your iPhone down somewhere while your AirPod is in your ear. And basically you're going to hear everything that is coming through wherever your iPhone was left. This is great if you don't have a baby monitor on hand or if you're at somebody's house, you just basically turn on live listen put your iPhone down somewhere, maybe next to the baby's crib or something like that, and then you have your AirPods in your ear and you'll be able to hear if the baby cries or whatever's going on in that room. So that's a live listen feature, it's really popular, and I thought it was just like a spying technique, but actually it does have some practical uses such as a baby monitor or even hearing the television if you don't wanna raise the volume too loud and it doesn't have Bluetooth connectivity. So it's a cool feature to have, you can turn it on and off right there. The next tip once again is in settings and we're gonna scroll down to our phone application here. So we'll tap on phone. And this is where the announce calls option that we looked at earlier is available. So if we tap on this, we can have the actual AirPods 3 here announce incoming calls when the headphones are connected. It says here that when second generation AirPods and some Beats headphones are connected, you can answer a call without saying the Siri command right there, but it'll work with a third generation as well. So that's where you would configure that option. Now tying in with that is the notifications here. So if we open that up, you'll see that announce notifications is on. So if we tap on that, you can have Siri read out the notifications and you can kind of go through all of this, but the main one is announce when connected to the headphones. We have CarPlay as well. So you can kind of play around with this as well for your notifications. And you can see all of your applications right here and you can choose which ones you want to have announced and which ones you don't. The next tip is to add a battery widget like you're seeing right here. This way you can keep track of the battery percentage of your AirPods, the AirPods case, and all of your devices right here. So the way you add that is pretty simple. You just tap and hold on the home screen. When everything starts shaking, you tap the plus at the top left. It's gonna bring up all of your widgets that you have to choose from here. And you're gonna scroll down to this section here where you can see the different applications you can add. The one we're gonna add is batteries. And if we give it a tap, you can see how you can choose these battery widgets. The one I was using there is this one, giving you a longer rectangular design, but you can choose the smaller square or even get a full detail design right here. So just for this example, let's say we wanted this design, we can tap add widget. It's going to add it to our home screen. We can kind of move it around if we wanted to as well. Just hold and then kind of drag it wherever you want. And then when you're done, tap done at the top right. So now we can see the battery percentage of our iPhone. We can see the battery percentage of our two AirPods. And if we just put our AirPods into the AirPods case, you're going to be able to see the battery percentage appear of the case as well. That's gonna be a little bit quicker for you to just check your battery percentage of not only your AirPods, but your other devices as well. The next tip is to save some battery on your AirPods themselves. I use this all the time, especially if you're in the car, just use one AirPod. You can actually have one AirPod in your ear and you can listen to music and all of your content, make calls and all that good stuff. So that way when your one AirPod dies, you're not left with nothing, you can just pop it back into the case 
case, pull out the other one, which should be at 100%, and now you've got longer time that you can use the AirPods and listen to content. I use this all the time. I rarely have two AirPods in these days just because I'm using them so frequently, but that's a cool tip to give you a little bit more battery and usage out of your AirPods 3. The next tip, once again, we're gonna go down to our control center once again, and you can see right here we have this feature. It's an announced notification option. If we don't want it on for whatever reason, we just want them off, we can mute it for one hour or turn it off for the day. Now, the reason why you see this one on mine is because in the settings application on the main page here, if you go to the control center, you'll be able to add all of these different features and options. And that's one of them, announced notifications. I added that. I also added the hearing which we talked about a little earlier, but you can kind of scroll down and see that there's more here. If you want to use voice memos, because that's another thing you can use with your AirPods, creating voice memos, they're very good with the sound quality. Now, if your AirPods ever become unresponsive or maybe just one of the AirPods won't connect to your iPhone, you can actually reset them so that they'll reconnect and it should fix most issues. On the back of your AirPods case is a small circular button and that's how we're going to reset the AirPods third generation. And it's pretty simple. We're just going to quickly pop the lid. You'll see the orange light appears here. We'll just close that screen right there. And we're just going to press and hold on the back button on the actual case. You'll see the light turns white and it starts flashing. And as soon as it starts flashing, you should see a screen appear that brings you back to the connection. We're gonna tap connect. It'll reconnect with this iPhone and go through that complete setup process that we did at the beginning. You can walk yourself through it or just click on the X at the top. And that should fix most issues with the AirPods. Now pairing the third generation AirPods to an Android device is also extremely simple. First, you're gonna to wanna to open your settings application on your Android device. You're gonna to wanna to tap on Bluetooth. You may be able to connect straight from this section. Otherwise, tap on pair new devices here. And I've got the lid open. I'm going to then press and hold on the button on the back of my AirPods. And you'll see they do appear here. I can just tap on them. It's going to start pairing. It's going to give me a prompt here to allow access to contacts and call history. You can allow it to do that or just tap pair. And then they're going to now be paired with the Android device. Now, one thing to keep in mind, if you're planning on pairing these AirPods to a non-Apple device, you're going to lose out on a lot of connectivity. A lot of the capacitor buttons are not going to work. You're not going to have spatial audio and things like that. They're not going to have the settings for that as well. It's going to act as just some basic wireless headphones that you can use with your device. Otherwise, connect them up to iPads, Macs, iPod Touch, iPhones, and they'll have all the settings that you would expect. Now, lastly, let's just get into quickly find my, if you tap to open it, it'll pull up all of your devices that you have and their locations. And if you did enable the feature for the find my earlier in the settings, you'll see your AirPods here and that way you'll know where they are. And if you ever lose them, you can tap here and it'll help you find them. Now I'm gonna to put together a full video on how to find your lost AirPods because these things are expensive and they're really easy to lose. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss that video. So that is how to use the third generation AirPods. I hope you enjoyed the tips, tricks, and the full tutorial here. And if you did, definitely let me know in the comments, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell notification box if you wanna be notified when I post new videos. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments. I'm happy to help you out, and I'll see you in the next one.